We are in the era of individualized medicine. This means we need to take care of each patient in a very thorough way. At our hospital, we treat oncology patients in a systematic way. We are careful in identifying patients who are candidates for local lesion approach such as liver, kidney, lung, etc. In oncology, when we propose a treatment to a patient, it is not just a one-shot therapy. It is a real strategy in a systemic way. The patient will usually have different lines of systemic and local therapies at the same time in order to achieve the best result. Timing is important for when each of those treatments should be done. Each patient's case is reviewed by the tumor board made up of oncologists dedicated to day treatment. In liver disease, if the patient has an indication for a local approach for ablating or surgically removing the tumor, the surgeons discuss what treatment will be best suited for the patient. In that discussion, thermal ablation has an advantage because it is less invasive and experience shows that it absolutely gives the same biological and clinical outcome as surgical resection. The ablation is done in the hospital under general anesthesia. We have a pre-operative meeting with the anesthesiologist a couple of weeks before the procedures to make sure nothing exists that would contraindicate a minimal invasive approach. The patient is admitted in the morning on the day of the procedure and is taken to the suite where we have a dedicated CT scanner, an ultrasound system and a digital C arm. We give general anesthesia and the patient is draped and placed in the optimum position based on the pre-procedure images. Then we take a CT scan with and without contrast media with the, the ATI tracker on the patient's body. The ATI tracker enables quick registration of the CT dataset and the ultrasound image that is used for navigation. It is simple and straightforward to do. The sensors are inside the probe. There are no cables to get in my way and no brackets to shake. We can easily determine where the needle entrance point on the skin will be. We place a pencil mark in that location, clean and disinfect the skin, drape the area, prepare all the equipment and perform the procedure. Once it is completed, we do another CT scan and sometimes an ultrasound scan with and without contrast media in order to be sure the lesion has been completely ablated with safe peripheral ablation zone. If not, we take advantage of the active tracker registration device and use the new CT dataset to locate where the lesion is still alive and stick the needle again. Then the patient is awakened and sent to the ward. The next day, the patient has another CT scan just before leaving the hospital. It is a quick, a simple procedure that effectively removes the disease and typically allows the patient to recover quickly with low risk of complications. I've evaluated multiple ultrasound systems and this one enables an efficient workflow. This protocol allows a multidisciplinary assessment to determine what is in the patient's best interest.